How's it going third grade? Today in this video, we're gonna be reading a book called Blue Spot by Griselda LeMay, and then we'll see how it goes. So anyways, this is Mr. Mill with the drawing mill, and let's get going. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Mr. Mill, and here we are with a new book. This one is called Blue Spot, and it's by Griselda LeMay. It interested me because it's by a Walt Disney Animation Studios artist, and it's basically a showcase of their art, and I thought it was really interesting, and I really want to read it. And uh, we'll go from there. I've never seen this book before, and uh, I just spot it at the library, and uh, I kind of just took it out, and I want to read it to you guys. So here we go. The Blue Spot. Okay, about Walt Disney Animation Studios Artist Showcase Books, why don't we read this because I'm kind of interested. <laughs> uh, this series of original picture books puts the spotlight on incredible artists of Walt Disney Animation Studios. The pages of each book showcase the personal work of one of these talented artists and introduce a brand new world and characters. I should probably find more of these books, so <laughs> I'll take a look at the library see if they have any more. Uh, but with that said, let's see what this one's about. Here we go. The blue spot. Look, Mama, I have a blue spot on my dress. How did that happen, Daisy? It all started when I was drawing during art class with a blue pen. Then at recess, I used blue chalk to draw hopscotch. I also painted a mural with blue paint. When we got hungry, we ate blueberries. Is that how you got the spot? Well, Mama. Then it started raining blueberries. Luckily, I had an umbrella. The blueberry rain created lots of puddles that turned into blueberry jam. I had to walk over it on stilts. The jam started bubbling like lava and spouting like a geyser. But I was safe with my magical blue boots. When I got to the mountain of blue ice cream, I thought it would be easy to climb, but it was slippery and slowly melting away. Oh no, what next? It turned out that the melted mountain of ice cream used to be a blue monster's house. His blue tears splashed everywhere. Oh no! I helped him build a new house made of blue cake blue candies, and blue frosting. When the house was finished, we celebrated by bouncing on a river of blue jelly. Surfing on a wave of blueberry pie. and battling with blue donuts and cookies. All that playing made us hungry, so we gobbled up the blue treats. And all that happened today? Yes, Mama, it did. It's all here in my drawings. Wow, but I still don't understand how you got a blue spot on your dress. When I finished drawing, I forgot to put the cap back on the blue pen before putting it in my pocket. <laughs> For Norm, who makes every short story long. I'm assuming they're talking to someone else that they know. But anyways, this was a cute story. I'm assuming that's the end. And it is. So, um, very cute, very interesting, and, uh... I like it. Hopefully I can find more of these. Anyways, that's besides the point. The point is, let's try to make some art out of it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I'm sure I did. So what I did for this video is that I got as many blue markers as I could 
as you guys can see over here. Now, if you don't have blue markers, that's fine. Just anything that's blue. Uh, it could be a crayon, it could be a club pencil, it could be a blue pen. Uh, then make sure that you have a blank surface, like a paper, and then make sure you have something underneath. So that way you don't ruin a coffee table or anything like that. Uh, and for me, in my case, I'm doing a sketchbook. And again, if you want to submit your artwork so you can show me what, how you've done, is uh, bmail at sd308.org and I'll make sure I'll take a look at it. So make sure you guys send it there. So anyways, so what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to brainstorm as many things as you can that's the color blue. Now, it might seem simple, but I want to start off your year really easy and then we'll go harder from there. And I thought it would be really easy for us to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my markers out right here. Um, I have a couple blues ranging from lights to darks. And then, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I made a small list over here. If you guys can't see it, not a big deal. I'll read them out to you. Um, I have stuff that could be blue. I wrote down cupcake. I, can wrote, I wrote down headphones, squirtle, uh, buttons, jeans, butterflies, a whale, bird, Ice cream, crayon, kite, ocean, blueberries, igloo, raindrop, balloons, backpack, shoes, and there's obviously way more than that. But anyways, um, so what I'm gonna do for you guys is that I'm only gonna make a requirement of 10 things that are blue, and it can be any size as you want. Just make sure you try to cover the whole paper, and then we'll go from there. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna start off as best as I can, and we'll try to count off with me. And I think the first one I'm gonna do is a whale. So for my whale, I'm just gonna draw two, fins that are going up, and they can go down, and it's going to wave all the way around like this, and it's going to come back and attach. So now I'm going to draw a fin on the side, and then I might as well make it look cute with little beady eyes. Ta-da! And then the spout where it shoots out water. So one thing, done! See how easy it is? So what I'm going to do is that I might speed through this video, I'm not quite sure yet, or otherwise I'll just make it play regular speed and then we'll do this together. So anyways, again, just make sure you have 10 things that are blue and call it done. <laughs> so here we go. Another thing that's blue, another thing that's blue is uh, blueberries. I'm going to try to find the darkest blue I got, which is this navy blue. I'm just going to put the blueberries right here. Oh wow, that's a very dark blue. Ta -da. In order to make them look like blueberries, I am going to add some X's on a couple of them, and maybe a couple of fuzzy tops on a, on a couple of them too. That way they look like blueberries. Alright. Blueberries. Two. Alright. Let's keep going. Alright, let me choose another blue. Now, if you're drawing a blank, uh, you can always reference this list over here or rewind to where I was explaining a couple of the choices that you could do. Um, another one you could do is jeans. So might as well draw some jeans. Here we go. And that is a bad marker. <laughs> so here we go. Let's draw a pair of jeans. Wow, that is a really deep blue. Was not expecting that. All right, here is the uh, button. And then I'm gonna draw one leg and the other leg. If it goes off the page, not a big deal. For my case, I'm on a sketchbook, so I'm not ruining the other side and I'm not ruining the table. I'm gonna add the uh, stitchings on the legs. And I might as well add some stitchings for the pockets. Just to symbolize that they are jeans. Ta-da! All right, ta-da, jeans, that's three. Very easy, all right, let's keep going. Um, I could do something easy as a crayon. Crayon. I can do something easy as a balloon. I could do shoes.
could do raindrops. Hmm. I could do ice cream. Is this the bad marker? Blueberry on top. All right, what else can I do? You know what? I'm gonna put this marker away since it's bad. Um, why don't I do? Let's see. What's another easy one to draw? Why don't I draw a butterfly? What else can I do? I could do a bird. I'm not gonna do the Twitter bird. <laughs> Let's go do a random bird. So far, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten, but my page isn't full. So what do I do? I have to fill it more. Let's keep going. I should have drew the shoe bigger. I should have made maybe the butterfly bigger, but it's okay, because I keep want I kind of want to keep drawing. <laughs> um, kite. Ooh, this is borderline purple almost. That's okay. Uh, a cupcake. I don't think I've done a cupcake yet. Cupcake. All right. What else can I do? Buttons. Buttons. Uh, headphones. Do we even have space for headphones? I'll make space. Headphones, yay. Headphones. A backpack. Let's get try to draw a backpack around here somewhere. Backpack, and I'm running out of space. I really want to do Squirtle, but you know what? Uh, there is a blue type of Pokeball, so I'm just gonna draw that. And that is a Great Ball. Just so that it has a little bit red on top, but it counts. <laughs> it counts. All right, there we go. All right, so I just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 things you guys only have to do 10 but if you want to fill the page like how i did that's great um anyways that's the end of this video um for next week's video i do have something else planned it's like gonna be a little more harder than this one but i figured this would be a great warmer for you guys so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i can't wait to see you guys in the next one so bye bye see you guys in the next one